Good afternoon. Hi, Rafa. Hi. Afternoon, hope you're well. More or less. Uh, Rafa, can you bring up to date on the injury situation first, please? Uh, how's Yerry Mina? Any chance he'll be available? And Solomon Rondon, what's the extent of his injury that he went off with in the Merseyside derby? Jerry Mina has, doing, has done today part of the training session, so he's getting closer. We will see how he reacts in the next uh, couple of days uh, to see if he's available or not. Uh, Rondon, we are assessing him, so still we are waiting. He's feeling better, but uh, we need to wait for the scan and see how he's uh, he doing. The other players... Are, any updates? Sh- sorry, Andre Gomez has been training. Uh, we are missing just uh, Dominique, Calvert-Lewin and and Tom Davis, the other players at the moment, they are available. Is there any updates on when you might expect to have Dominic back, Rafa? No, he's still uh, he's doing well. Uh, I was talking with the physio today, with the fitness coach, uh, with the lad the other day. He's getting better, so but uh, still a couple of weeks uh, minimum. We we have to be uh, sorry. What's your me- sorry, we have to be very careful with him because he has had two injuries. So we want to be sure that the. He's getting stronger, he's getting uh, well, but uh, now is the time uh, to progress and he's doing really well and he's quite happy, but uh, we have to be careful. Rafa, what's your message to the fans who voiced their discontent at Goodison on Wednesday night? I think we are disappointed. We are really disappointed because it's a bad run. In terms of uh, the game, it's a derby and then it's more emotional, but uh, we are really disappointing the way that uh, things are going on but at the same time and I have the numbers so that is the advantage that I have sometimes is just we were running more than Liverpool in every single department uh, distance uh, uh, fast run intensity sprint everything but we concede four goals what means that means that they have very good players and um, they punish our mistakes so we made mistakes they punish us and um, it's something that we are already um, analyzing, so you cannot say all the things. So I have the belief, and I told them a lot of times that we will do well in the second part of the league. Now is a time that we have to stick together and try to go to January in the best um, position that we can. And um, in terms of commitment, the players are working really hard. You cannot complain about that. You can complain about mistakes or quality or decisions or things like that, but no about commitment. And it's a, it's a little bit disappointed and it's a frustration time for us, but uh, we have to keep going and we have to work really hard. I have experience in situations like that, to fight for titles and to try uh, to avoid the relegation. And my experience is telling me, stay calm, keep working hard, try to correct the, the mistakes and then uh, keep going and uh, stick together. That is really, really important if we appreciate that what we want is to stick together is crucial. What pressure, though, do you feel in this situation, Rafa? Because if you are to have a better second half of the season, then you need to start picking up points once again very quickly. So does that make it a must-win game against Arsenal, as you say? When you are in a bad run like we are already, every game is a must-win game. Why I am positive? Why still I have uh, the belief that we will do well? Because we did it at the beginning. So you cannot be a bad manager or a good manager in one week, and especially in my case with so many years. So if I was great as a manager in the first game, if the team was uh, really good, if we signed two wingers that everybody knew that we needed two wingers, and we were making crosses and we were making everything that we have to do, and everybody was happy, we cannot be wrong after six weeks in everything. It's not possible. The reason why is that because we had important injuries, key players injured, and then we had this bad bad run, and then you lose confidence, and then uh, you are waiting for these players to come back. Some games that maybe uh, we could um, deserve more, we didn't do it. And now the Premier League is very complicated with teams so strong like Liverpool or Manchester City that if you play against them or or Chelsea, you know that uh, it's very difficult to get something. So, and again, I will say, we did well. We did really well at the beginning. So I'm confident that we will do uh, well at the end. We were, everybody knew that the, the, the team was having issues in the last years. But then when you are doing so well, they forget that. Later on with the injuries, we are going back to the same problems. And we know the problems and we are working on the solutions. 
fans, though, obviously made the point to board members on Wednesday night that they felt that the club is in a position where they appear to be going backwards rather than progressing. Is that a fair criticism? And if so, where does the blame lie for that, for that situation? Obviously, my main thing is to concentrate on the football issues, the coaching of the team, trying to analyze the mistakes the other day, that uh, crucial mistakes that at the end cost us the game because the team was uh, coming back with the goal that we scored. And then after we continue making mistakes. And I don't want to blame anyone, any individual. We are talking about as a, as a group, we, we win or we lose as a group. Then we know the problems. I think that is the positive thing. We know the problems. The club has been changing managers for a while and it was not changing the, the the situation. So now we know the problems and then we are trying to find the solution. So it's just uh, the main thing for me on the pitch and at the same time uh, from the club. Finally for me then, Rafa, what solutions can you yourself find short term to give you the best chance of turning things around starting against Arsenal? I will go back to the experience. Then you have to do uh, the basic things, the simple things well, and then little by little you are building on that. So we have to be solid, we have to be strong, we have to uh, defend and work as a unit. And, and after, if you can get one or two results, then you will have more confidence and it will be easier. And I repeat again, with uh, some players coming back, I think we have more chances to be even more competitive. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Thanks, Finney. We'll go to Jake Robson, please, at Premier League Productions. Good afternoon, Rafa. Afternoon. Um, just a word then on Arsenal on Monday and uh, your compatriot, Mikel Arteta, and the job that he's doing. I think he's doing well and could be, I would say, an example of um, a new manager in a new club under pressure from the beginning last year from the beginning of this season, uh, he's little by little, he's uh, continued working in the way that he wants to work and then the team is getting better. It's clear also that they spent some money and they did well because they signed some good players. But uh, it's an example of a manager in a new club that he, he needed time and everybody was talking about we have to give him time and he's now, I think, collecting the, the price of that. I mean, their away record, it has to be said, has let them down a bit this season, certainly not as good on the road. I mean, how can you go about making it as tough a test as possible for them on Monday? Yeah, it's the same way that um, we try in every game. So it's just to be sure that uh, we work really hard as a team and then try to uh, to keep the ball in a better way and especially don't make mistakes. I think we had been really strong at the beginning of the season as a defensive unit and then playing good counter-attack. And uh, after that, we were passing and we were um, in the build-up play, we were much better. But uh, we need to go back to the principles and be sure that we are uh, strong uh, and we don't make mistakes that uh, will allow the other teams to punish us. Obviously, it's been a few games since since you last won, but d does it feel like actually getting a win is round the corner? Yeah, I suppose that the statistically it has to be like that. And, uh, Again, I would say the way that the, the team is uh, working, I will not say playing, because you play against uh, Liverpool, it's a, it's a top side in, in, in the world. And then they beat the Manchester United, or beat Blackwell, or they beat, oh, sorry, Southampton, or they beat, they beat the, so many teams for so many goals, that um, to lose for us is, is worse because it's a derby. But uh, in terms of effort, you cannot complain. If we do that, if we continue doing uh, the same things, I am sure that the, we will be... Uh, sooner rather than later, we will start winning. Thanks, Jake. Thank you. We'll go to Alistair McGowan at the BBC, please. For, um, Jordan Pickford will be in goal probably on Monday against um, Ramsdale for Arsenal, two England goalkeepers. I just wondered what your impressions were of working with Jordan since you've come to the club and whether that surprised you after you sort of maybe had him, an impression of him uh, from last season? No, I knew him uh, before and he's doing, he's doing well for his country and he's doing well for us. So I think he's a keeper that we know that what he's capable and then at the same time he still uh, is someone young and then he can be better. So keepers, you know, they need 
uh, or they have the advantage that they can stay for a while and uh, play and even getting older, still they are getting better. So I think he has a, a lot of time to uh, continue improving and I think he's a good keeper at the moment. Just on the, um, you know, the, the state of the club at the minute and how things are going, Obviously, there's been a lot made of the money spent, uh, I think, around £500 million pounds at Everton in the last five or six years. I just wondered how a club could spend that much money and still end up in mid-table. I think that, I said before, I try to concentrate on uh, my job, that is to improve the players that we have. We, the fans, we, uh, everybody in the, in the business, we know that the, the money has been spent, but uh, at the moment... Uh, what we have to be sure is that we can improve these players. So, you know that I talk about injuries because I want to uh, make people realize that uh, we were doing really well with the same group of players at the beginning. So, the injuries ha has been a key factor for us. And uh, the owner and the, the board, they want to spend money and they want to improve the team and they want to help, in this case, the team and the manager. So, everybody wants to do that. And uh, now I think it's... Uh, really important to stick together, try to do well on the pitch and then go to January and try to improve things if we can because it's uh, the main thing for everyone. Okay, thanks, Rob. Thank you. Thanks, Alistair. We'll go to Carl Woodward, please, at Radio Merseyside. Hi, Rafa. Hi. Uh, just talking about the January window, have you got the resources to, to get players in during the January window? Yeah, to be fair, we have been uh, talking about that, but uh, I think it's the time to concentrate more on what we can do uh, every week. So we, we need to know uh, how to prepare the, uh, the game against Arsenal and uh, how to uh, bring back uh, the players that are injured, how to improve the fitness of everyone, or how to improve the, uh, our game. I'm working on that. At the same time, we have been talking about uh, January and then we are working on options. But uh, the main thing for me now is just to be sure that uh, we have a good game plan against Arsenal. And how much do you find about the players' character when a team is going through a run like this? Yeah, it's really important. When something is wrong, it's really important to, to show character. And then uh, at the same time, what I say is just to stay calm. So I think that there are two things that uh, can help. When you are under pressure and the anxiety is there, you make more mistakes, so and stay calm. That is crucial, but at the same time, keep working and, and working harder if it's uh, if it's possible. So that is uh, what I'm trying to do with my staff, and uh, that is the message for the players. Today, uh, we were talking about that, that um, you cannot complain about the effort because the numbers are there. You have to be sure that uh, we improve in, in the other things. We have to analyze our mistakes and try not to repeat the same things. And the only way is to... Uh, Analyze on the on the video clips individually for groups, and after go on the pitch and coach the players in the way that you have to do it. And how are the players feeling during this run? How determined are they to get you out of this run and start getting wins on the board? I will give you an example. Uh, Seamus Coleman, the captain, he was desperate to do well. He was pushing the team in the last weeks uh, to be sure that everybody. He was giving everything, he was the first one to give everything and then he made a mistake and then he was so sorry and I am sorry because uh, when you have someone that is so good, so professional and uh, he wants to to do so well for his club and to make these kind of mistakes is just uh, even worse for him and uh, for us. So then it's just to support him, what we did uh, straight away and uh, be sure that the rest of the players they copied the example in terms of uh, mentality, approach and uh, and hard work that he's, uh, he's doing every day. And we've seen Arsenal go through some tough patches under Mikel Arteta and they've come through those. So can you take comfort from that as well? Yeah, I said before that it's an example. So they were under pressure last year, they were under pressure this year at the beginning. And then uh, it's just uh, to keep doing things in the right way and uh, little by little uh, you go through. So I'm confident that we can do the same. Thank you. Thanks, Carl. We'll go to Carl Markham, please, at the Press Association. Hi, Rafa. Hi. Um, we've recently, last, well, last week, so we've seen um, 
some of your players being linked with with other other Premier League clubs. I'm I'm just wondering, the, the longer this this run goes on, um, how how much more vulnerable does it does it make you to sort of those sort of you know approach from the teams? And on the flip side, how easy is it going to be to recruit players to uh, to a team that says on on that sort of run? I don't think it will affect us uh, at the moment. I think. Our market is uh, clear, so there are players that you can you can get and players that you cannot. That is the reality because the Champions League or uh, playing in Europe, uh, and the, the top size, maybe they will not come now. But uh, at the same time, uh, we need to know the players that, that they want to come, what I said the other day. In terms of our players, if they can go or not, they cannot if we don't want. So we are happy with them. Um, uh, with the situation in terms of contract of some players and it depends on us and we don't want to lose our players if it's not necessary. And when I say if it's not necessary, it means that if we sell players, it's because we want to sell players. But if we don't want to sell players, we don't need to sell players. So we are happy uh, in, in terms of that. And uh, I think that the players, they appreciate that we are trying to improve and it's what we'll try to do until the end.